Hello YouTube, welcome to Sword of Smarter, episode one of Junk Mail. So, everybody seems to enjoy watching everybody else open up piles of all the uh, eBay and AliExpress mail, everybody orders and what they do with it, so here we go. So, so we'll see what we got here. So, this one is AliExpress labeled screws. And we have here this is for a uh, circuit board project that I ordered and, and I'll put the links to some of these down uh, down in the description below this is a uh, stainless steel uh, M4 screws not too exciting this one is labeled label stickers I think I know what this one is for. This one is... Oh yes! If you can see that at all. A warranty protection stickers. On uh, some of these devices that I do service and fix. These are sequentially numbered uh, safety seals that you can order online so you can see the uh, the barcode's not so much important for me but if you see here the uh, the serial numbers here are sequential 09 10 you know 7 8 6 5 3 4 and so on so uh, and then uh, when you peel them off the underside of the sticker will say void all across the underside of them so Kind of important to have when you're working on stuff when you put things back together if you don't want people getting back into them uh, what do we have here uh, this one says toy hmm. i don't know that i've ordered any toys but we will see what the No, this is not. This is not toys. <laughs> These would be seeds. I don't know if you've seen in a previous video uh, that I have. I uh, have been building um, my wife a uh, some small greenhouse lights and with some. Uh, some of those LEDs, uh, full spectrum LEDs, and uh, these are seeds that I have ordered her. They've numbered them, and these are lilies. I don't know if you can see those. I'm going to assume that the corresponding numbers I can't read the Chinese but I'm going to assume the corresponding numbers on the bags are the corresponding numbers in the bags of seeds they would I assume label them as toys to circumvent having to deal with customs for sending an agricultural product overseas I am going to plead ignorance on that one I just order them I don't deal with them oh let's see this one is labeled Ion of Bonsai it is a gift no 
idea what that is. Oh, and this one again. This one was a, this one was labeled beads, but this is a blue and pink rose. If you can see that, will it focus? Blue and pink rose. I'm going to assume that this is a device for poking the dirt. Hmm. Kind of funny. I order those all at once. And they come in different packages. This one is labeled Lighting Transformer. Oh. I think I know what this is. Yep. This is... Wow, that is really, really tiny. Oops, sorry, kicking the... This is a... Well, apparently dark energy. This is a 3 watt LED driver. But it is a uh, 12 volt, uh, 110 volt input, 12 volt output. Uh, but I don't want to use this for driving the LED. I want to use this for driving a small 150 milliamp uh, cooling fan for the uh, off of a heat sink um, for the for the fans that are on the big heat sinks for the uh, big 150 watt uh, or 50 watt LEDs that are on the these grow lights and uh, I want to try using this to uh, just drive the computer fan uh, later project. We'll see that on a different video. Let's get this big one out of the way. This one says protection board. And let's see. Let us see what a protection board entails. That that is a twelve S lithium ion uh, charge protection board. I don't know if you can see that in there, it's got the whole series of. Uh, Transistors, heat sink, 100 amp peak capacity, three battery banks, and uh, again, this is going to be a later project. Although it does have three screws on it to uh, pull that apart. I don't think it'll come off easily. You know what? Let me. Uh, let me see. Let's unplug that. Let's take that off of there. Let me see. Well, since we're here, let's pull this apart and see what. Uh, let's see what they use for. We're not going to fire this up right now, but since we're here, we might as well see if they got anything decent for the. MOSFETs on the
Looks like they've just got some cheap double-sided uh, silicone tape on there. Let's see what the... Uh, let me see if we can see what that is. Those are... Those are K80E 06K3. And they are not all the same. I don't know if I can get that up close enough for you to see that. Kind of like they had different suppliers. This end one is a different. I don't know if you can see that. This end chip is a different. has different printing, silk screening on it than the other chips do. Yeah. K0, K80E 06K3. to look those up and see what uh, what those are but uh, and what's interesting is, is that this is only a uh, this is only a three three bank charger but it has four Four sets of uh, charge controller transistors in here. This is a voltage regulator. You can see. I try to get this in here so you can see it. These are the. Uh, this is the focus. These are the little voltage regulator. Here and there's four rows of them, each row for each bank of. Uh... Huh, I wonder if this board is actually used for uh, an S4 charging circuit. Although I don't see a pad for the fourth. Uh... Hmm, well, I'll do some digging on this and see. But anyway, I'll. Uh... I'll put that back together a little later. Finish this off on the... Finish the rest of this junk mail. Let's see what we got here. We have electronic parts. Let's see what electronic parts are. Kind of all electronic parts. Up here. Decent electron electrostatic bag for it anyway. It's a hell of a inductor coil. All right, so I had to go look this one up. This one is a 9 amp, 300 watt step down buck converter, 5 to 40 volts. And uh, this looks like a very decent construction. And uh, we're not going to test it today, but uh, here's the listing that I got. Uh, from mod module fans off of AliExpress, it's four dollars and nine cents. Uh, 
apparently it says it's no longer available, but there's several other listers that have it. But uh, some big beefy caps on there. And, uh, can't quite see the name on that uh, on that cap. Let's see who that is. That is. Uh, Chenixing. If you guys can focus, will you focus? There we go. Chenixing. Yeah. So. Yeah, thousand microfarad, thirty-five volt. So. These two are 35 volt, these two are 50 volt. Uses, uh, they both the same, uh, what do we got here? No, it's got two different chips on here. Let's try to read that. What does that say? Eyes are so bad in my old age. Let me scratch this one all up. I cannot read that one at all, guys. Sorry. I can't make that one out at all. STP. No, it's an STP chip of something. Sorry. This one's a uh, XL Semi chip, XL4016E1. So, that's going to be the the buck chip but uh, I think they could have done a little better job of putting a little Celastic on that to keep that down I might add some to that but all in all seems to be a nice construction anyway we'll carry on that side more to go here. What do we got here? This one. Labeled fan. Oh, well, this one might even be labeled right. Fan. Oh, there it is. Fans. Oh, yep. Just some 50 millimeter brushless fans. These are the fans that I want to power with uh, with this guy to uh, run on the heat sinks with uh, so I'm going to put this on a heat sink and this is a 120 volt driverless 50 watt full spectrum LED and it gets hot and then run this 120 volt input and then power this fan with a, a switch a thermal a thermal switch to turn that on and off so different project later date different video so that and last what do we got here I think this is the wire that I have ordered. Let's take a look here. A little bit grief. Guess it's sealed for my protection.
my brake shit. Yep, 200C double insulated 16 gauge. This is 63 feet 16 gauge made in the USA wire. This is uh, what I plan on using to uh, rewrap uh, transformers with. And, uh, so and this is as small as 26 gauge. This obviously is much smaller. Same thing, 200 C rated. Here's 18 gauge, about 50 feet. Have here 20 gauge, 157 feet. This is all 200 C rated. Just the higher temperature. And let's see here. Yeah. Yes, this is the one I was waiting for. And this bad boy right here. That one. Sorry about the shaking on the camera. 10 gauge, approximately 47 feet. 200C rated, double insulated. Heavy, heavy. If you can see that. Come on, focus. Yes, there you go. Heavy copper wire. I have a uh, future video I'm going to try to do microwave oven transformer. And I'm going to try this, rewrapping it with this instead of using uh, vinyl insulated wire. I'm going to try to see if we can't get. Uh, 50 amps out of it. And uh, well, that's what I need the 200 C rated for, for the higher temperature. So. So, that is today's junk mail. So. Thank you all. We will see you guys next time.